What's going on guys? This is KNASD3090 here. Welcome back to the episode of the Seattle Mariners Expansion Franchise, episode number 5. We are in the summer of 2020. We're currently at the trade deadline. We got moves to make. We got some pieces to sell off. Um, <clears throat> I definitely want to keep Waka around. I know he's having a bad year, but I, I think he usually does well in franchise. Now, he does have a pretty expensive contract for an 83. I just think he plays better than it. Right now he's not. Carrasco is pitching... I mean, a little bit better than uh, Waka. However, he's a uh, free agent at the end of the year. I'm hoping to get a couple good prospects. Banda's having a pretty s lousy year, but he's locked up long term. So I mean, and, and it's cheap. But then if you're bad, it doesn't matter. Anyway, um, Whistler's pitching well. Hap is struggling, but I'm not sure we can get much for him. He's 37. Uh, our bullpen. I mean, there's. I might trade off some of the bullpen. We can get. I'm not going to give him away, but we have. Four legit uh, players of the bullpen, but we're still not ready yet. There's no point of having them just to have them. Now, we do have this guy who's turning into a star, Pavin Smith. I'm excited to see how he finishes the year. At third base, Arroyo. Not a great hitter, but he's more of a defensive-minded uh, third baseman. We got Didi at short. I might look to trade Didi, see if we can get something. He, it's, he you know, has signed a one-year deal with us. Chris Davis is out there. Uh, we just sent Freddie Hawks down to double-A from triple-A. He's one of the top prospects. We have Adam Jones. We might be able to get something for him. So let's take a look at the trades and see what we can do. So, uh, Carrasco, Segrist, Didi, maybe Bowman, and Adam Jones. And maybe the Sam guy. He's struggling this year, limited action. So let's start off with the big one. Let's start with Carrasco. Hoping to get an A for him. And there we go. We can get it. Now, he's a closer. Not ideal, but he's already in 79 overall. He's only in 18. That is a very intriguing offer. Now, I don't love the fact that he's a closer, but, I mean, the fact that he's already major league ready. He's only 19, and he's a potential. Let's do... You know what? I really like the player. Let's see if we can do him for, like, Adam Jones. That was on the raise. I like the player. That wasn't him. They have two dominant ones. Wow. All right, so Jones doesn't get the deal done. Does Bowman? Almost. Does Didi? Not quite. Segrist? They actually like Bowman a lot. Crasco, obviously, we know Wood. Let's put Bowman in here. He's not pitching that great. And let's include... I include... Uh... Gordon Beckham doesn't really move the needle that much. Hap doesn't do it. They want to catch your first baseman right field. We don't really have a lot, unfortunately, given that we are basically an expansion franchise. We have no farm system. Like those B potential prospects are good to like to finish a trade, you know. That, that Rex doesn't even get the deal done. Um, damn, I really like him, but. I don't want to be stupid and give up a ton for him. Now, we give up the Sam dude. I, I can never say his name right. Who's struggling this year. Now, I, don't, I just love this guy. The chance that for him to be only 19. He's pitching great already. We give up two relievers. And then Gordon Beckham. Which we don't even need to give up Beckham. They're going to give up this Ruiz guy instead. So, let's see what that guy's potential is. Sonny Bowen. 92. But he should develop, like, as long as he pitches well, he should turn into a stud. So that's nice. All right, so that trade's done. Let's take a look what we can get for Carrasco now. Helio Ramos, okay. A potential and Marco Ordonia is already a 71 overall B potential. So two outfielders, that's it. I don't hate that trade. Reggie Fitch, no. Ooh, two A's, a closer and a third baseman. But the third baseman's only 54 overall. Russ Madsen, a pitcher. We can get a lot for Crasco. Um, I kind of... I really like the Ramos and Ordon... It depends what Ordonius looks like. So, here's Ramos. <clears throat> He's a pretty good player. Nothing crazy yet, but a potential. And Ordonius. Great contact. Can play every day. I like this dude. Let's do it. Ramos and Ordonius. Two outfielders. That and we have Cox as well. Let's take a look at his potential. 90, so it's the lowest A it can be. How about 
So we have Cox, we have Ardonez, we also have Artuo, who's a good contact first, right? Another B potential can also play first. And this Bridges guy way down here. So we have a good amount of left fielders, I guess you can call them, but I mean, we have none, no right fielders. And they don't, and neither of these guys look to be right fielders based off their terrible arm. But what's his potential? 82. Not high, but I just like what the player looks like. Like, I just think with the way he hits, look at that contact, the good vision and discipline and clutch already. He can play every day, has solid speed. His, the defense is the only thing lacking all, other than his power, obviously. But you know what? He's not going to be a big power hitter. Just know that. He's going to be a, a professional. Can call, I hate the phrase, but a professional hitter. He's 6'2", 210. You'd think there'd be some power behind that bat, but I guess not. All right, so another trade's in the books. I would love to get my hands on Brennan Rodgers. I would love... I've never gotten him in any franchise before. Can we get him? I don't know. Now, we do have... Barrero, but Rodgers is clearly better. Better. I would love to see if we can get him. I would not give Arroyo. I would. Uh, let's talk, Colorado. I can do some work. I just love the fact that I mean, I, I think he's a great fielder, or he can be a great fielder. Good contact, solid power. We don't really have a backup third baseman in the system, but that gets the deal done. We can get the number one prospect. I don't want to give up Esperanza because I one I have sent sentimental value, which is stupid. I'm gonna actually take that back. I don't I don't want to make moves because of sentimental value, but he's a good player at second. They really like Arroyo. What if we include Arroyo? Not, I mean, Barrero is just expendable. Or we can always move him to second, but as is more ready. You don't even need to include him. I think we can include other pieces. You don't like right fields, but we don't really have many. But we can do it. So it's, wow. I'll just give up these nobodies. And we can get Brandon Rogers the number one prospect. They love Christian. Ar Look at this. They love Christian Arroyo. I think he's a good player. Don't get me wrong. He's a good player. But this is Brandon Rogers, former number one pick. And he's going to play right now. He's our shortstop. Because Didi's going to get traded. Now. Okay. Yeah. Didi doesn't have that much value in this. So there we go. Now it's time to move Didi. We have the number one prospect in baseball. That's nice. For Didi, I, I'm I'm two Bs. A solid B there. I know we're not gonna get a ton. Maybe a team throws us an A. Ooh. Okay. He's twenty one years old, fifty five overall. Oh, a closer. Um Lang? I might take Alex Lang. Yeah, let's do, uh, let's see, do we include anyone? Let's take Alex Lang, because we don't have a ton of starters right now I, I like. I'm going to just, I'm going to trade, if I can get, a, like, a B potential, I don't even care what it is, for a half, I'm going to release him. All right, we can get him from the Mets. Hunter Francisco, I, he, that guy, I highly don't however make the bigs. He's a filler for a trade or something. So our rotation, we got Waka, Banda, Weiser, I guess Whalen. I was really playing Lang. I guess we can call it Trevor Rogers. Let him play. So we'll call it Rogers. We have Lang. So there's our rotation. It's kind of the weakness of our, our t system, as you can see. Like that's why I really I saw Lang available, and I really want him because we have no one else. Now, I think we did draft. Yep, we did draft Lopez. If I remember. Yep, and then we did draft a lot of starters. So there is more coming, but none of them are ready yet. Lang's ready now. All right, so we still have some more trades we can do. Segrist, two years remaining, so he's locked up. He's only 30, so I don't think we should just trade him just to trade him. I want actual substance back in a trade. Like, Didi, I was going to trade just to trade. He, we had a new shortstop. He's a free agent at the end of the year. Want to get something for him. Uh, I'm not loving these trades. I'm probably going to keep Segrist. Goldstein? 
Uh, if that was an A, I'd consider it. You have to either give me like three Bs and I like one or two of them quite a bit or an A. You know, not seeing one. Yeah, and okay, so Seagrass will keep. Adam Jones, I'm okay with moving Jones because he's a free agent at the end of the year. See what we can get for him. Jim Young, okay, we can get a starting pitching prospect. Like I said, at least build up some depth. A closer, okay. Can I get like a couple B potentials just to help us... Ooh, Mariana Cabrera. I always love these like 19 year old B potential with like a 60, like already a 60 overall. Good contact, good fielder, not much power. He's toolsy. Let him, let, we have a, now we do have a flux of left, what you would call left fielders. No, he, this guy's a left fielder. That 29 arm, he's a left fielder. Um, I might take the closer instead. It's just, we have so many outfielders to begin with. Now, I mean, we always end up trading one, obviously. But if, like, all things are equal, you take the position of need. What was this guy? A right fielder? No. So there's that Cabrera. I went the other way just to double check all the traits. I'm probably going to take the one that has that closer. Sam Bolger. There we go. That's just another reliever. He's 22. Let him develop. I guess let's take a look at Zitch. He's pitching outstanding. So I, I look at, I'm just try, looking to see what's out there because we should do our due diligence. But I doubt I'm going to move him. If Seagrass didn't get any offers, there's Cabrera again. There's probably not going to be anything I get for him. But maybe a team just really likes Zitch a lot more. I'm not seeing it. Another outfielder. I mean, let's take a look at him. Yeah, no. I was hoping for more. All right. Um, Any other trades to make? I mean, I guess, like I said, I like Chris Davis. I think the power bat is important for our franchise. But let's not be stupid. And I guess let's see what's out there for him. I guess we'll do the same for Waka, even though I like him. Two Bs, Tyler Anderson, or Alexander, excuse me, and Daz Cameron. Forrest Griffin, Brad Keller. I I have more value. I value more than what I'm getting offered for Chris Davis. Ooh, that closer again, a potential. But yeah, I'm probably gonna hang on to Chris Davis, and he's also a lot. No, he's in the final year of his deal. Um, that changes things. We're not gonna make the playoffs this year. I should trade him then. Just sign him in as a free agent. And whatever team, no team can put a qualifying offer on him because he was traded mid-year, and no team would. <clears throat> so, yeah, we might as well trade him. So let's see what the best offer is. There's obviously value for him. There was that A potential closer again. I mean, we can kind of just really help build up our uh, bullpen in a young way. And first baseman to right fielder. Where was that closer? Maybe they took the offer down? Was it the Marlins that had it? The A potential? Hmm. There is Zach Collins, but... Actually, maybe Zach Collins. Yeah, let's get Zach Collins. Actually... We'd need a catcher. Crap, I should have checked what team offered us that. Yeah, that was a mistake by me not to check. <clears throat> I know he's currently in real life on the White Sox, but I don't think he is on this. All right, where are you, Zach? Or did they take the offer down? There's a potential closer. He was on the Marlins. You know what, let's just find him. I'd love to get Alfaro because of that arm. Ooh. That's... That's not crazy off. Let's, let's, let's talk. They kind of like Paul Spann. I would include Park in a deal. I think Park has crazy potential, though. If I remember right. 
I mean, Barrero is now expendable. I don't want to give up Pardonias yet. Um, there we go. Whalen gets the deal done. Let's do it. We get Alfaro. We get an elite catcher, defensive catcher. You hope the bat develops. He's already 26. I guess before we make this deal, let's take a look. I just realized he's already 26 with three years of service time. He's going to get expensive soon, and he's not hitting. Now, he is an elite defender. Uh, I, let's, let's continue. Let's see what's out there. Damn, Kelly has such a good arm. Unfortunately, not much else. Walters, maybe? Hitting really well. He has four years of service time, but he's hitting outstanding. 324. A war of four. And that could... Ooh, can we not... I think we include Whale and Chris Davis. We don't have to give up Barrero. Now, I know Barrero is probably not going to be a, a player for us, but... Let him continue to develop and increase his value out there. Question is, can I get this deal done without including him? Oh, we can give up Robles? There we go. We get a catcher who's young. I mean, he does have two more years, so he's a free agent. I think that's... I mean, I guess we'll just see what's out there for Waka. It would be stupid not to. I'm probably not going to take anything unless I get us... Ooh, okay. Um, probably not though. Just because it was the, the starter was not that high of a potential. I yeah, I'm not getting anything crazy. You guys may be thinking oh, I'm hanging on to Waka too much. He usually pitches well in these. Next year, if he doesn't, maybe. But we'll let him figure it out this year. Cause this video is actually going pretty long, but we had a lot of trades to do. So um, we're gonna call up. Lang, he's welcome to the show. He's pitching great in double A, and now you're going to the majors. Same with Trevor Rogers. He's pitching all right, three seven six. You're right, nothing crazy, but welcome to the majors. Um, let's have yet yeah, Bowman, uh, Bowen on the team. I want Bulger in the minors. I want the. I don't know why that he's. They usually sort of by overall, but the sixty eights below the sixty four is because he's pissed off or something i don't know um all right there's walters there's those two guys esperanza keep them in triple a but we'll call it we have to call up some other people we only have 19 guys on the big league club third base that's fine brendan rogers welcome to the show number one prospect is now in the bigs cox is in double a we're gonna put Let's put Ordonez to AAA. He was actually doing well in AAA, 297 average. Artulo is doing well in... Yeah, this guy can hit too. Like They're kind of the same players. Artulo and Ordonez, but Ordonez has way better durability than Artulo. That's pretty much the difference. And I just need to call up some bodies too. Yeah, we have a good farm system now. Pretty quick change, actually, how we... Uh, we have to just add a couple more people. How uh, we we got pretty good pretty quick with our farm system, just being smart and some free agent moves. All right, I know we don't I know we don't have a full major league roti uh, roster, but I don't care. Um, I want to keep the service time for certain players down. I'm gonna let them fix that themselves. Same with the miners, and then we'll check it. I would love. I hope this is a fe uh, feature in future years where they just rank teamed farm systems not just the top prospects the top prospects for like each team but rogers is number one in the in the league now he is gonna lose that because he got called up oh we should check what his <clears throat> what his potential is 97 nice cox is at 10 the guy we should have drafted but deal with the 99 potential is at four so that's not ideal that could haunt us Esperaz is at 30. Trevor Rogers is at 32. We just got called up. Ramos, who we got in a trade, is at 34. Bowen, we got in a trade, is at 37. But he's in the big, so that's going to go away. So we got some couple top 37 prospects. 
Barrows at 41 and number one prospect too. I can't forget about that. Pretty good. We didn't have like a superstar player. And then we got like Tony Wolters, a Wolters as a catcher. So, yeah. All right, let's get the lineup all set. Make sure the right cats are playing. Rogers leading off. That's fine. Wolters at shortstop. Not fine. We'll put... Why is Rogers playing third? There we go. This game sometimes, man. Rogers can play second and third, but he has the defense to play short. All right, let's fix this. All right, he's playing short there. Let's put Walters in here. He's playing short there. Let's put Walters in. There we go. Triple A, we want Ramos playing every day over Waldrip. And I think that's it. And we want Artulo playing every day over Barney Drew. You know, Drew actually looks to be like a halfway decent player. He's in 571 and limited at bats. Actually, what I should do. DH. But even though he's a C potential, uh, I still like the player. Because the dude can hit. And as long as he continues to hit, that contact's there. Maybe the power slowly develops. And Drew could be a big league player. Could be a DH or something. Or could have value out there. Alright, I don't care about the non-DH. And then double A, we already got that all set. I don't really have any prospects yet in the minors. Kenny was a B potential. He's not a C potential. Bolger is a closer. <laughs> All right, there we go. Hopefully we get the number one pick, but the young guys perform. That's what I'm hoping for. And then the offseason will be an important one. Again, can we kind of just do the same thing, get those free agents, and then if we're not contending, move them for uh, for pieces. It seems to be working for us. It's nice having a little bit of a bigger budget with a team like the Mariners than the other franchises we do. All right, 66 and 96. I think that is an upgrade, though. We went 54 wins, so I don't think we're going to have the number one pick. Right now we're at the number three pick. Number three pick, though. I'll work with that. We're going to have the number three pick next year's draft. Let's see how the team did. Waka struggled at the end of the year. Wizard was good. Banda performed better. That's good. And like I said, with his contract being 1.7 a year for the next four years after this, yeah, that, that, was, that was good not to trade him. Whistler is locked up, so that's good. Lang did struggle. Rodgers wasn't too bad. Not too bad. Uh, Bowen pitched great out of the bullpen. So that's nice. We got a stud there. And we still got Seagrass. We still got Zitch. Or Zitch. So maybe add a couple more pieces in the offseason. Brendan Rodgers, 245. Hit five home runs, still three bags. A war and a half a season of .6. Walters finished at 304 average. Gone base at a great clip. It wins above replacement at 5.5. Pavin Smith, 309. 27 bombs. Wins above replacement at 3.1. Bobby Bradley, 23 home runs. No, the average wasn't as high, but he did hit 23 bombs. Those four guys are kind of the future of the lineup right now. I mean, Walters is already 27, and he does have four years of service time, but Smith is 24, Bradley's 23, Rogers is 23. That's some. There's some pieces there. The rest of the lineup I don't care at all about. Um, Let's see here. Oh, crap. Oh, never mind. That was the they changed the lineups because of the playoffs. Ramos improved. He's a 65 overall. Esperanza is at 69 overall. Nice. He, I think he might be ready next year. Yeah, he's not going to hit, but he's going to field. He's going to play every day, and then there's value in that. And it's better than Beckham, most likely. Yeah, Beckham was a negative player for the second straight year. Ordonez, <clears throat> again, continuing to improve. Bronny Drew, continuing to improve. Cox, continuing to be meh. Not loving that. Um, let's take a look at top prospects. So Cox is now four. Badil is three. I'm always gonna, they're always going to be compared. Um, what else do we have? What else do we have? 
Esparza is at 27, Ramos is at 29, Barrero is at 30. So, I thought I saw his potential going down. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So, I guess we'll take a look at awards. We didn't win anything, and then we'll probably end the video. The video's going pretty long, I'm not going to lie. Bellinger hit 49 home runs, Correa hit 48. Price, that's a high year rate to win the Cy Young. DeGrom was great. I believe of your Edwin Diaz and Hayter. How good is Hayter in this? Pretty good, except his walks per nine are trash. Rookie of the year, Tyler Ramirez. Really? Okay. And Herrera with a great beard. See potential, but the guy can play. Not always, the potential's not always the most important thing. There's some good attributes there, and sometimes they will just develop into something. Or sometimes they never really have a high, potent, a high overall, but they always are just a consistent player, even though like a C potential. Uh, that's pretty much it. I think that will end the video, boys. I hope you did enjoy it. Please drop a like if you did. I will talk to y'all later, boys. Take it easy. Peace.